For those looking for an exit from the escalating culture wars in the U.S., we want to look at one model. Nate Boyer served in both Iraq and Afghanistan as a Green Beret and was awarded the Bronze Star before playing for the Seattle Seahawks in 2015. Last year, Boyer wrote an open letter to Colin Kaepernick that encouraged Kaepernick to stand during the national anthem, as opposed to sitting, out of respect for veterans. Kaepernick wouldn't go that far, but the two worked out a compromise and Kaepernick began to kneel instead of sitting. And Nate Boyer joins us from Austin, Texas this morning. Uh, Mr. Boyer, welcome. I want to go back to that first letter you wrote. What inspired you? Uh, and then uh, how did you get in this conversation with Colin Kaepernick? Yeah, you know, what inspired me was just... Uh it hurt. It hurt to see somebody, you know, protesting the flag and the anthem, at least in my eyes, that's what it was. It was somebody um, sort of protesting America and, and the symbols that stand for, you know, these freedoms and all that. Uh, it, it, it was confusing to me. I didn't understand where that was coming from. And it, and it just it hurt as a, you know, as a warfighter <laughs> when you're going overseas and you're, you're fighting for those that can't fight for themselves and you're fighting for all those, those freedoms that we have here. And then to me, the way I perceived it was somebody was sort of sitting that out and not interested in that and, and upset about um, you know, those things that we were trying to provide. And, and I just was, was, was hurt by that. So I wrote an open letter um, explaining my experiences, my relationship to the flag, why I stand and why I feel the way that I do. But instead of you know, attacking or, or, or telling him, you know, this is why you should stand, it was more like, you know, I want to understand where you're coming from. Why are you sitting? I don't know what it's like to be you. You know, I've, I've, I've only had my experience, and so I'm just trying to empathize and understand. Through that letter, you know, Colin reached out, and we ended up having a, a sit-down, uh, face-to-face conversation, which, which led to him taking a knee instead. You know, it was, it, was, it, was a, it was a powerful moment for me, and I think for a lot of people, to see two people that disagreed on a subject or a topic uh, that was pretty important to our country that were able to work out uh, some sort of a compromise or at least have that conversation you know civilly a lot of people think that compromise a lot of people who share your view the first one that inspired your first letter don't think uh, they don't think that compromise gets at it they think the, that this is still offensive and in just the way you've described right no th- there is i mean everybody's got a different relationship to everything in our world you know and and per- things are perceived different ways. The, the, what's interesting about the protest itself, whether it's sitting, kneeling, fist in the air, it doesn't matter. Um, even when a lot of these, these men are saying it's not about the military, it's not even about the anthem or the flag, uh, they don't get to necessarily choose how people see it though, how individuals perceive that. You know, if, if, uh, if somebody makes another hand gesture towards you, um, that's offensive to you, but they're saying, no, I'm, I'm not, this is not what it means. This is not what I'm, that's not the point of what I'm doing right now. It doesn't, it's not up to them how you take that and how you receive that. So there's been issues with that. Um, and yes, people, people believe that kneeling is still offensive and they have every right to believe that and feel that because um, that's what's great about our country. You, you, can, you can have those opinions, have those, those, those feelings. And you know, for me, I thought it was better. I thought kneeling was better. We, we, people kneel in our country to pray. You know, when you propose to your wife, you take a knee uh, out of respect. And so I thought it was better. I want him to stand. I want everybody to stand for the anthem and feel that pride that I feel, but I want them to do it because they want to do it. I don't want them to do it out of obligation. I want to touch on something else you wrote about, which is that when you returned home from your service overseas, you said you returned to a country that is so divided and so hateful. Talk about that a little bit. Was that what inspired your effort to try to find some ground here? And is there any lesson for anyone else in that? Yeah, I mean, it's it's a tough time to be back home in America, you know, uh, because we are so divided and we seem so angry and stirred up. And, you know, we don't have these conversations. We don't sit down with someone we disagree with and talk anymore. We're just on our cell phones and, you know, we're we're sharing stuff through social media or other platforms. And it's just a constant attacking of one another. And it's really frustrating as a, as a, as a soldier. You know, I was in the Army uh, and going overseas and going to, f- to fight for our people here and then to come back to, to a nation that's just angry at one another. And, you know, like what has happened, uh, you know, recently with, with the four uh, soldiers who lost their lives over there, it didn't even really become a topic or something we talked about until, um, you know, we were discussing 
the president's involvement in the remarks and all that, it was like, why aren't we honoring these guys before that even happens? Because we're so wrapped up in who's right and who's wrong in our country. And, you know, it's, everyone's trying to turn each issue into this good versus evil instead of just trying to understand that we all have different, uh, you know, experiences and, and, and we come from different places. And, and that's what makes our country great, that, 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 that mixture of all those things. All right, Nate Boyer, thank you so much for sharing some time with us. And we'll be back in a moment with our panel.